Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. So glad you tuned in today and boy, I wanna invite you first of all to check out Showcase Fergus Falls. It's the Chamber's annual trade show and this year we are virtual, we are online and we are going on right now. In fact, we're going on now through March 21st. I'd like to invite you to go to fergusfalls.com and you'll be able to click on the Showcase banner. You'll get a chance to meet 70 of our local businesses and nonprofits, learn a lot more about them. Many of them have some special hot deals for Showcase. Many of them are hiring, and a lot of them are giving away prizes. In fact, there are over $2,500 in prizes available. Some you'll register with the businesses, and some you'll do the virtual scavenger hunt. In fact, stay tuned. We're gonna show you a little video on some tips and tricks and we're just gonna call them showcase hacks. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna have a little video and then after that, we're gonna meet our guests from West Central Initiative. Rebecca Peterson and Rick Shera will be joining us. Stay tuned. I drive 65,000 miles each year in my bus. If people knew what I know, lives could be safe. You don't want to be in the blind spot of a 40,000 pound bus when I have less than a second to react. I do what I can by changing lanes or taking turns slowly. It really helps when people look out for me too. Give me room to operate safely. It's our roads, it's our safety. Hey Fergus Falls, Lisa Workman here with the Fergus Falls Chamber. We are excited because the digital doors are open. They have flung wide open for Showcase Fergus Falls. This is our annual trade show and we have almost 70 different business and nonprofit organizations who have booths at this year's virtual trade show. So we're super excited about it. The doors opened on Monday, March 8th and people have been visiting those booths. Uh, throughout, throughout the week already. And uh, we just wanted to give you a few tips on how to get the most out of Showcase um, and how to find some of those uh, secret words that we're all looking for. So I am going to uh, give you a little preview on Showcase Fergus Falls. So the way you get to Showcase Fergus Falls is that you go to our website at fergusfalls.com. Super easy, fergusfalls.com. And you can click on, click to enter Showcase or this banner in the middle also gets you in to the trade show, which is entering showcase. So we're gonna click on the banner. And you'll scroll down just a little bit. And on this main landing page for showcase, you will see all of the prizes that we have for the grand prize drawing, which is all of these prizes here that we've purchased from our chamber members. And then over on this side are the exhibitor booth prizes. So these are the prizes that the exhibitors are giving away and you register at their site. So that's the prize breakdown. Again, the grand prize drawing is by doing the virtual scavenger hunt. And I'll give you a little clue as to what you're looking for here. So first of all, enter the showcase by clicking on this red band here, click to enter. And this will get you to Showcase Fergus Falls. So it says across the top, Showcase Fergus Falls. There are 69 different booths here. And each of these uh, rectangle boxes are like the beginning or the first thing you see for the booth. So the things that you want to do, is you want to kind of look to see which ones, who am I interested in learning more about? Let's check out Northern Contours. Click on the logo and you'll go to the Northern Contours booth. And here you'll see all of the information about Northern Contours, how to get in touch with them, all of their social media connections, great history about Northern Contours. You'll see some fun pictures from Northern Contours, a great video. And when you look for the highlights section or when you go into the highlights section of, of many of the booths, this is where you will see how to register to win their prizes. So, if in the highlights you see register to win, you'll want to click on that and that will take you to a form to fill out to register to win. So that takes you to a form and Northern Contours is giving away Northern Contours gift bag and $50 in Fergus bucks. So you just fill out the register to win, click on submit, I'm not a robot, and then click submit and then you are automatically registered for them. Now we did talk a little bit about the, we're going to go back up here. 
the virtual scavenger hunt. And again, there's more details in the, the, on the main page for showcase to, to help answer some questions, but we did want to do a little video. So the grand prize drawing is a virtual scavenger hunt. And what you will do is you will visit the variety of booths which is within Showcase Fergus Falls, and you will be looking for this, a secret word. So now sample is obviously a sample, but this is about what it looks like within the photo galleries of the booths. So you will scroll through the different businesses. Like I said, we were looking at Northern Contours and you'll look in the photo gallery and well, that might be one of them. And the other cool thing about that this is that there are many of the businesses that have job openings. And so you will see the listings for jobs right within them. And here's a little tip. If you or someone you know is looking for a job, as you uh, wander your way through the virtual trade show, and if you see this little briefcase, that is an indication that those companies have job openings. So look for those. Also on many of them are hot deals. You can find those and all kinds of information. So we've got great information. You know how to find this, this scavenger hunt or to look for the keywords. So again, we're gonna back up here to showcase. So the grand prize drawing is where you're collecting the words from the virtual scavenger hunt. So there are 10 secret words and then what you do is you come back and you hit enter grand prize drawing either from here or from right up here and this stays on our page. You enter the grand prize drawing. Showcase Fergus Falls grand prize entry form. First name, last name, your daytime phone number and your email address. We won't sell your email address. And then what's the secret sentence? Again, there are 10 words found in the photo galleries. You click in a sentence, make create a sentence from all the secret words and hit submit and you have registered for the grand prize drawing. Now I do want to give you a couple other things that you'll want to make note of for showcase. On Thursday, March 11th at 730, we're going to have Chamber Cafe where it will be a meet and greet with the showcase exhibitors. You click on the banner, you can get registered for Chamber Cafe and the Zoom link will be sent to you for that. Also part of Showcase will be our Showcase Social on Thursday, March 18th. And what that is going to be is a Zoom event where we are going to teach you. We've got guest mixologists coming from a restaurant group in Rochester, Minnesota. They're going to be showing us how to make a real fun cocktail called Two to Mango. And we will also play Scategories. And you just register online for Showcase Social right here. It's just $20, you'll get a party pack full of surprises and you'll get the um, secure Zoom link to attend that event. So again, that's Showcase Social on the 18th. So that's just a little uh, preview on Showcase. We hope you have fun registering, uh, viewing all the great uh, businesses and nonprofits that make the chamber up and make Fergus Falls a great place to call home. And we wish you the best of luck if you have any questions, you can send us an email at chamber at fergusfalls.com or give us a call at 218-736-6951. I want to thank all of the great businesses and nonprofits who have made Showcase Fergus Falls such a fun virtual trade show already. And again, make sure you head out online to fergusfalls.com on or before or throughout the time from now until March 21st. Have a great day, everyone, and we will see you again on the next go round when we uh, come up with another sort of um, event or things like that. So yeah, we're super excited about you, about having Showcase Social and uh, we are just excited and you know can't wait for you to be a part of it. So again, thanks again and we will see you again next time. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying.
Well, welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm joined by one of our great chamber members, our friends from West Central Initiative, Rebecca Peterson and Rick Shera have joined us today. And, um, you know, we should talk a little bit first, uh, explain to folks about West Central Initiative and, you know, some of the work that you do before we get into the really good stuff about an upcoming <laughs> event. So Rebecca, you wanna share just a little bit, you know, I think, you know, you're, you're based in Fergus Falls, but you guys serve a nine county area. Correct, and, uh, and as we were talking pre-show, we actually have been able to do a lot more outreach via Zoom and in person, uh, more so now. But yes, we serve the nine counties. Let me see, see if I can do this in order. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Becker, Clay, Douglas, Grant, Ottertail, Pope, Stevens, Travers, Wilkin. Wow. And so the, the, Anna Wasash, our president and CEO, taught me a little thing. It's B C D G O P Stew without the E S T W. So I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta remember this. Well, when you when you serve nine counties, I mean, in in Minnesota, that's that's a pretty big area too. So. Correct. And then we actually extend further north out of Becker County into the entire White Earth Reservation with our early childhood program. Right. So uh, that's one facet of our work at West Central Initiative, our Early Childhood Initiative, and they've done an amazing job with an Early Childhood Dental Network to have right. outreach throughout the region, make sure that kids are getting good dental care. The Early Childhood Mental Health Network, um, the ACEs program, you know, adverse childhood experiences, we wanna catch things like that early. And then also we have, you know, the planning side of our organization. Right. which is working with economic development in the 82 communities in our nine counties. Right, on top, right, on top of the nine counties, right. then we talk about the 82 communities right. too. So. And then philanthropy, and that's the work that I do, and Rick is in communications, which crosses over between the two. And so we are also a community foundation, and so we're raising money so that we can make grants throughout the region, so that we can have work with individuals setting up donor advice funds so they can make grants and give back throughout the region. And then we have a really robust lending program too through our planning side. So I, I mean we there's do a lot. so much. There's so, <laughs> so much, much it's hard to like say it in a an elevator speech. No, we, we could do about a three hour show. Oh we could. <laughs> um, you know, spending time on each of the programs and I know each of the areas that you specialize in and do work in in the different counties and communities have have been very busy and very active um, throughout the last year and again adapting to you know what the needs of the the areas are and adapting to whether it's an in-person meeting or adapting and making things virtual and you flipped everything on its head and made it happen well and it's and successful. You, you know that that really is what we have to do as an organization well all of the organizations um, had to do a lot of adapting this past year but you know we realized early on that there was going to be incredible need because of the pandemic right and so we switched up our grant making to resiliency grant making and helping people get back on their feet and as you and I were talking before the show um, Things had to happen quickly, and some of the grants that we made were to healthcare providers who had to go to the telehealth system. And and there's quickly, an, yeah, there's an example of a program that people thought would happen probably in the next five or six years, right. and it had to happen like that overnight. And yeah. through grants, you guys helped Correct. make those things happen quickly. And you know, speaking of telehealth and virtual, you've got a another. Um, a big and very interesting event coming up on the calendar during Women's History, History month. month. I'm like, not Women's Month, but Women's <laughs> History Month. And, uh, of course, with the power of technology, and, of course, we're here at Park Region, who's a great technology provider, um, you're able to bring some fantastic speakers to, to people right here in the West Central Region. Right. And um, I'm going to get... Rick in on this conversation. Yes. I promise I'm not going to hog the screen. Wait, how did we do this? Yeah. Rick has sat here very patiently and quietly, and if you know, it's Rick hard Shara, for me not to say yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's me. very out of. So maybe you want to introduce, well, introduce the concept. It, yeah, it all, it all came about when, when when COVID came around. We had to switch uh, the annual meeting, which we started 
two years ago, years a Thumper ago. Pond. There was 100 people there. It's fantastic. Uh, wonderful. Great you were stories. there. And um, Kevin Kling was the uh, host. And the next year, of course, we had to go virtual. So we did it again with Kevin Kling and as the host. And we had, um, who was the other, the speaker that was? Will Steger. Will Steger. Right. Yeah, the explorer Will Steger. And they had a conversation. So that was virtual. We had 150 people online. And at the time, Rebecca said, this is great. We want to bring these voices, these other uh, people into the region so you can hear. And, and now with this, this uh, virtual world, you can have more speakers because they don't have to leave their house. Right. Think of that. So on March 24th, Wednesday, we're uh, bringing in a celebrating Women's History Month and bringing in uh, some fantastic voices starting with Anne Bancroft, the explorer. Uh, wow. We have Winona LaDuke, the environmentalist, the author, and we have uh, musician Anne Reed. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, and, and Amazing also- Amazing collection. And also, be, fast becoming our company spokesman <laughs> is uh, Kevin Kling again. Oh, so, and he's so entertaining too. Yeah, and, and Rebecca's yeah. friends with Kevin and uh, she, it's just these things come together so nicely. Yeah, and actually these three women are, are friends of Kevin Kling. So when we did the show back in November, um, no offense to the men watching, but I noticed that the whole lineup was like men and like, where are the women in, in this lineup? And because we knew Anne Bancroft also did a, a lot of work similar to Will Steger's. Sure. And so Anna Wasesha said, well, let's do something for Women's History Month. And so in conversation with Kevin, who is not a woman, but he says, I come from a very <laughs> matriarchal family. Um, I can make this happen. In fact, one of my favorite stories, he's, he and his wife Mary are very good friends with Winona LaDuke. And early on in my friendship with Kevin, he said, yeah, I just got back from Boundary Waters canoe trip. And for those people who don't know Kevin, he was born with um, a, what he calls my withered hand, he calls her Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> but then he was in a terrible motorcycle accident and lost the use of his other hand. And so I'm like, how did you go boundary water canoeing? And he said, well, I had some powerful women in the canoe and I just sat there. <laughs> so Winona was one of the women who he went canoeing with and Prudence Johnson, another musician. And he said, so I had all these powerful women just powering me through the boundary <laughs> waters. And so, we asked about you know a title for this program and and we were talking about you know spring is almost here and Winona does a lot of work with Honor the Earth and you know right. and Bancroft does a lot of work with climate change and he said well I've got it groundbreaking women and so so fitting yeah and so in Rick so has, many ways yeah and Rick has put together a pre-show of groundbreaking women throughout history, some of them from right here in Fergus Falls and in our region. Tell a little bit about how you yeah. collected those. Um, so I was looking at, to bring some local flavor into this. And one thing I did, uh, I read a headline that uh, in Chicago, Kayla Hawkinson was the first mayor ever of Chicago. And I had interviewed uh, Kayla for our Live Wide Open story. Sure. And, uh, and I thought, well, that's kind of neat. So I kind of reached out to uh, all the, the mayors in the region who uh, happen to be female and, and got a favorite quote from them, put that together, went and got some uh, historical photos of women. Then I asked Missy Hermes if she had some uh, women who, in this region, who uh, were groundbreakers in our history. And she provided me with some, so you have to oh, tune into the show to see and some of those. And, right, and that's part of the pre-show. Pre, pre, yeah, 6.30, we're gonna start just kind of run that. But one of them, um, and, and Rebecca knew, and I, and I said, wow, this is uh, uh, amazing. And, and she's still, and she was, she's like in her 90s? Yeah, she must be 90, because I was reading about her when she was 87, which was three years ago, so yeah. yeah Dr. And this is <clears throat> Condell, is it? Dr. Yvonne Condell, yeah. Okay. And, and she, uh, you look at her history, she uh, is a, a black woman who uh, taught, the first one at Underwood, taught at Underwood High School, taught at the Fergus College here, and then wow. at MSUM, and very, and just an amazing woman. Right, so we're 
trying to get a hold of Yvonne for some quotes because I, I've known Yvonne for years. Actually, when I was working at a Center for the Arts, her husband Jim came and did a guitar concert. He, Dan Estrom was playing, and so sure. he, he came and, and did that. And, and now uh, I haven't seen Yvonne for over a year. I used to play in the Fargo-Moorhead Symphony. And every Sunday, there she'd be, front and center <laughs> in the audience. So she's a big uh, cultural philanthropist as well. So, yeah. So we're looking forward to March 24th. Yeah, no cost free. Go on our website, w uh, wcif.org, and it pops up right in the front. And just, and you register, just register for register. it. And then you get to enjoy Sit the, back, the entertainment and the stories. And, and the music. The, the music, all from the comfort of wherever you want yeah. to be. Right. So... Uh, if we have just a couple more minutes sure. for our November event, um, our mayor, Ben Shire, is a big fan of Kevin Kling. And he's like, but we're going to be in the Black Hills, uh, but we're going to watch from there. <laughs> so they did. You know, they watched from their motel room. And he said, but the kids are sort of wondering if we're going to have that same fabulous buffet that we had at Comfort <laughs> Pond. And I said, well, you better get busy, make your own fabulous buffet. And then we saw people joining in, you know, some former board members from Detroit Lake saying, we're here with our appetizers and our glass of wine, and we're here with our, you know, popcorn, bowl of popcorn. Truly so, a buffet or a pot, <laughs> pot, build your own potluck, build your yeah. own buffet yeah. at your home, all the things that you love. Right. And my daughter from North Carolina was able to attend just because anyone can, from anywhere, can tune in so we're looking forward to it absolutely and again we should remind folks of the day and the time and how to get registered for that sure go for it Rick Wednesday March 24th uh, starting at 630 with the pre-show with the uh, uh, honoring and looking at uh, groundbreaking women in our region and then the groundbreakers program at 7 fantastic and this is tuning in live while they're presenting and speaking yeah, um, it's all live. It'll be all live. So it'll be fantastic. And we will record this one back in November. I mean, it was so fabulous. We got the best comments, and people were asking, "Is there a recording?" And it's like, "Oh shoot, we forgot to ask permission <laughs> of all yep. the guest artists." So we've done that, and we'll re be recording it. But you'll want to be there live. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, how fun is that? Yeah. And uh, looking forward to it. Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely support of these things. You bet, you bet. Well, so glad that you guys could join us on the show today and look forward to March 24th. Thanks. Thank you, you bet. We'll be back after a little break. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Place with today's tip for kids from the American Academy of Pediatrics. Kids are full of energy, but keeping them active in their teen years can be a challenge. Aim for an hour of physical activity every day. If they like sports, that's a great place to start. Keep the focus on fun, not winning, and encourage your child to do a variety of activities. If your child isn't meeting that 60-minute goal, gradually increase their activity in ways they enjoy. For more, talk with your pediatrician or visit HealthyChildren.org. Well, welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. I want to thank our guests today, Rebecca Peterson and Rick Shera from West Central Initiative. And of course, you can find out more details about the groundbreaking women on their website at wcif.org or if you're looking for additional events going on in and around the community check out the chambers website at fergusfalls.com and click on the events calendar hey and don't forget to get on out there and visit showcase fergus falls i'm lisa workman this has been find it in fergus falls and we'll see you again next week